In a TV exclusive, Tony is going to give us a master class in production. By returning to the original stems of the title track, he is going to show us how he layered and produced the song that would become a Bowie classic. This is what I'm going to play you, the, uh, the basic track when we had Dennis Davis sitting on drums, Carlos is in the room with his guitar, and the piano player is David Bowie. These are the drums. And we have George Murray on bass. That's it. We're going to build up heroes on top of this. Now, the first cool sound, I guess, would be Brian Eno said, OK, let me have a few passes with this little synthesizer he carried around in a briefcase. So here we have mixed synths. <laughs> Beautiful. It's in the mix. You, you don't never heard it this clear. Though. Okay. And so another thing uh, David added to this. There was a in those days there were some primitive string synthesizers. And it's called a Solina string synthesizer. So this is David played this part. We thought this was the bee's knees back in the day, but it's really cheesy, very cheesy sound. Okay, so I'll put that into the mix. Okay. Starting to sound like heroes even more. We invited Robert Fripp to come to the studio. And he comes and lays down three tracks. So we have this, we have this. See, he came in later there. Different sound. And we have this track, three tracks. Now they're all very pretty, but they, they were meaningless until I threw them up. Like this, three, the three together. And I had to do some judicial mixed balancing in the mix, you know. But we always had this constant frip thing going all over the place, like it was like a celestial frip sound. Okay. Now, let's see, there's one other thing that David played. He had this uh, instrument called the Chamberlain, which was a more advanced Mellotron. The Chamberlain and the Mellotron were early samplers. You know, these really were real musicians, but the sound quality wasn't great. So if you can go up to the part where the brass comes in, Aaron. This is David. This is a brass track. The riff is definitely Stax Records from Alabama, you know, but... <laughs> but it's not a very good brass sound. But it's in the mix. We only had one track left for the, for the vocal. So I set up a, a mic in the middle of the room to capture this, how the sound travels that far, you know, maybe 15, 20 feet. And then I set up a third mic in the rear of the room where it travels the whole length, probably 50 feet. And um, David was on this end of the room with a close mic in front of him. We had these, uh, this ability in those days to put an, elect an electronic gate on a audio signal. So I put an electronic gate on the middle microphone and the distant microphone and set them to a specific threshold where if David sings loud enough, he'll open the microphone. If he sings quiet, the microphone won't open and you'll just hear this sound in front of him. So at the beginning of the song, you, you'll only hear one track. And if you'll solo that track uh, at the verse one, please. Uh -huh. I will be king. See, there's no reverb on that. And you 
You will be queen. Stop. So verse four, if you go to verse four, now he's he's working the middle mic and the, the end mic. I, I will be king. And you, you will be queen. Okay, take the solo off. We knew at that point that we had a great song. In the minute, I think David says, that'll do. It's uh, out by then. Out by then, he says. <laughs> 